Hey everybody, I just wanted to get on here for just a little bit and um, start trying to do a video vlog, is that what it's called? I don't know. My son calls me a boomer, so this is all new to me, sort of, but um, a few people have been asking me to do more live videos and do videos of some of the things that I have to offer. So. I'm going to step out of my comfort zone and try to do that. Um, I have been spending a lot of time at home, a lot of time at home, and um, haven't been feeling very well. No, I do not have COVID-19. Um, I have liver problems, and, um, and at times I get inflamed, and when that happens, it is very hard for me to even function or get out of bed. So, in saying that, um, I have looked atrocious for about two weeks now. Um, my hair is, like, today I was shocked to even see my hair down. My hair has been up in a bun for two weeks. Um, just a ball on top of my head and uh, no makeup so if you've seen me go into the post office to mail off things and everything i'm sorry um a lot of times i get shocked looks at people looking at me and then they're like well, oh i well i didn't even recognize you i didn't you know and you know it can either go either way like sometimes i you know when you look in the mirror sometimes you think hmm this it's not so bad. I can go out looking like this. But then you um, see yourself on camera or you see yourself like walking into a store in a mirror and you just, you're just like, oh God, somebody's cars out here that I know and they're going to see me and I really don't want to talk to them looking like this because I just look like one of those pictures where like a small child in the 18th century is fixing to die from the flu. And um, and then they just look at me with like pity, and they're like, "How have you been doing? Are you okay?" I'm like, "Yeah, I'm, I'm fine. <laughs> I'm really not." <laughs> anyway, anywho, let's get on to this video of why I want to start doing the videos. I um, if anybody knows me, um, I I make so. Uh, lotions um, uh, I don't make the essential oils but I mix them and make things out of them let me give this disclaimer first and foremost I am NOT a doctor in any shape form or fashion I do not hold any degrees in anything um, this is just my own personal use and experience and I shared it with people and they seem to like it so with saying that um, I do not make any claims that anything is going to do anything for you but I can say that when I make you something I make it as clean as possible and if anybody else you know if anybody knows me they know that I am the biggest germaphobe that ever lived um, so in saying that um, legally I you know this is just um, it's not medical advice in any way shape form or fashion so um, let's just get that out of the way um, I uh, started about probably about 10 years ago making candles that's how I started and um, I've always been interested in herbs and and healing as natural as possible um, and in saying that as well, you know, if you are sick, go to the doctor. You know, I, I do believe that there is times that you have to have um, medication um, prescribed to you. I'm not ever saying don't, you know, quit taking your medicine or anything like that. But for me, if I can um, help myself with... Um, natural products I'm gonna do that first and um, but even with me I've had to to take medication 
prescribed from the doctor and and that's fine um, but I try to be as natural as possible and especially now that I've been diagnosed with a, a liver condition uh, I try to watch what I eat and um, I try to be as natural as possible so I've always been very interested in herbs learned all about them as much as I possibly could and used them before but um, several years ago a friend of mine introduced me to essential oils and um, and so I started trying to learn everything I could learn about essential oils and their healing properties and then I was fascinated to find out um, of course we've all heard the Bible story of Jesus being born and the frankincense and myrrh you know as a gift um, then it was just a passion of mine to find out you know how the uh, essential oils played such a role in the Bible but it was our first medicine cabinet and it even goes back into Genesis you know, Jesus gave, oh, not Jesus, but the Lord gave us, God gave us the, the, the herbs to use, um, and he, he talks about it many, many times about the leaves that he gave to us to use as medicine, and, um, and then throughout the Bible, uh, oils and essential oils were used throughout the Bible because that was their first medicines they had. That's what they used for their medicine. And uh, even synthetically made medicine to this day is, is derived from herbs and oils and different things like that. So, um, you know, you, of course, ask your doctor before you start using anything. Um, uh, one of my biggest sellers that I have now kind of fell in my lap as well. A good friend of mine just gave it to me. Um, is the elderberry syrup. And I cannot talk enough about how elderberry syrup has helped me there's been so much going on right now uh, with COVID-19 and I'm not going to tell you right now that that you're going to take elderberry and it's a magic thing from you know straight down from heaven but I will tell you that it will build your immune system and so to have a strong immune system of course you're going to be able to fight off things um, and it is a proven fact and you know people think I'm crazy they make jokes about me and that's okay I don't care I, I just go right along with it I've been called a witch everything else I'm, I'm glad I live in this day and time because I'm telling you right now I'd been burning at the stake a long time ago if I'd been back in a, another time frame but um, that's okay that's okay I just take it with a grain of salt but anyway, I, I tell them, yes, I do believe in the power of three, the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. That's my power of three. But getting back to elderberry syrup. Elderberry syrup, what it's done for me, it is um, back, um, it was in um, the end of February, uh, 1st of April, a year ago, um, I was put in the hospital with uh, pneumonia and I was septic and um, had a, it's done a lot of damage to different things, uh, my heart being one of them uh, from that, but in taking the elderberry syrup and taking it every day, that is the main thing right there, is taking it every single day. Not when you think you're gonna need it, not when you're getting sick, but take it every single day. If you take it every single day, you're gonna see a huge difference in just the way you feel if you have fibromyalgia if you have any kind of pain you're going to see a difference in how you feel because it's going to help eliminate a lot of your inflammation for your information it will help your inflammation that was a mouthful but anyway i'll joke this out that's i mean i have high anxiety and that's how i cope with making jokes and i know i sound like a squirrel on this thing but i'm about to run out of time but um, another thing that I'm so proud of that I just made is um, a hair serum. And um, a good friend of mine that I met through eBay, um, she is the one who sent me the message and the recipe. And she said, can you make this for me? And I said, yeah, I have all the ingredients. Yeah, I'll make it. We'll, we'll give it a try. And so I just sent it to her and to see if it would help. Um, not only does the elderberry syrup help with all those things that I said that it would help with, um, it also helps your hair and your nails. And uh, 
like when this stuff started my hair was already getting pretty long but I mean it just started growing like crazy when I started using the hair serum and I actually have like a bald spot right here or I did have and then when I started using the hair serum I got hair I got little baby hairs going right there anyway so um I, I just uh you know if you if you ever want to try any of my stuff uh just give me a holler um, I'm going to try to start making videos on Mondays and Thursdays or making them and putting them on on Mondays and Thursdays and um, and I'm just going to start going over everything that I have and everything that I have to offer because I am stuck at home here most of the time. I, I get out to go to the post office and to the store and that's about it. Um, I'm trying to, you know, make a living from home. And, um, and it's been rough, but the Lord will provide for me. And if you're ever interested in any of the things that I have to offer, I'm just a message away. I don't necessarily always answer my phone, but if you'll give me a, you know, leave me a message, I will get back in touch with you, I promise. And if you send me a message and I don't answer it right away, I will message you. If you need help with anything, you, you know, send me a message. If you need me to pray for you, send me a message. I'll pray for you. Um, you just need somebody to talk to. You're lonely. Send me a message. I'm just a message away. And um, and if you want to try any of my products, like I said, um, you can get on my um, my page through Facebook. It's uh, Sand Mountain Heritage Apothecary. Um, and uh, there's a list of things on there. I have jewelry, diffuser jewelry, um, I make, I make bracelets, I make necklaces, I have essential oils for anxiety, cold, flu, uh, the elderberry, I have uh, elderberry syrup already made, and then I have elderberry syrup in the kits. Um, I've started making the hair serum in a spray bottle. Uh, I have that available, but I like it um, in the bottle where I can use it any kind of different ways like I can use it um, as soon as I get out of the the shower or I can put it into my shampoo um, I can um, put it in a spray bottle with water and then just like during the day spritz you know spritz my hair and just spray it around um, anyway like that um, if you see this right here this is um, this is not highlights I'm not this is uh, age highlights these are gray hairs and um but anyway it's in talking about my hair how long it was it was so long that i cut recently about 10 to 12 inches off of it it was all the way down my back and it got to the point where i could not even deal with it um and i had to cut it because i i couldn't even sleep at night unless i had it up in a bun and um and so I just couldn't deal with it anymore. But my time is fixing to run out. So God bless everyone. I hope y'all have a safe and happy 4th of July. And like I said, anything you need, um, if you just need to talk to somebody, if you're lonely, if you need prayer, just holler at me. Love y'all. Bye.